It's been a while since I made a new video, but my subscriber count seems to continue to go up, and uh, due to video editing software problems, um, I've been unable to complete a number of projects I'm part way through at the moment. So, in the meantime, for the purposes of uploading something, rather than not having anything at all, um, I'm going to read an extract from a private message exchange which I've been having with a particularly hardcore Young Earth creationist. I'll just call him Joe Creationist because he wants to remain anonymous. He doesn't want me to uh, copy and paste his messages into the comment section, which is something I suggested to him because he thinks I will misrepresent him. So, there's just one particular question in his last message, or I think his last but one, um, which seemed to be a semi-interesting question, and the what I wrote in response is the kind of thing I would sometimes add to and turn into a video. So rather than watching me read it, I will just keep the camera rolling, focus on some nice geology over there, and here we go. Joe Creationist. Hang on, it's, I need to look, hold the camera and point it that way and look at the paper at the same time. Right. Joe Creationist. If there is a god who created reality, isn't it more logical to get to know reality by asking him about it? My response. That might make perfect sense to you, but I'm going to try to help you to understand why it doesn't to me. If there is a unicorn who created reality, isn't it more logical to get to know reality by asking the aforementioned unicorn about it? The key word is if. Now bear in mind that you've never seen a unicorn. You've never seen a photo or video footage of an actual unicorn, despite many artistic depictions of what one is supposed to look like. People tell you that they have a personal relationship with this unicorn, and furthermore, he's the only real unicorn, and that all others are imaginary. They tell you that he's the one true unicorn, and that he wants a relationship with you, as well as your absolute obedience to a set of instructions which were written down a long time ago by anonymous authors. You are aware of the fact that throughout history, believers have been unable to agree on exactly how to interpret those ancient writings, to the point where much blood has been spilled. When you ask these believers how they know that this unicorn is real, they tell you that it's the most obvious expla explanation for the existence of reality. In fact, according to the believers, reality only makes sense if the one true unicorn created it. When you press them further on how they know this unicorn is real, some of them tell you that faith is required. If you simply choose to believe he's real, then the reality of the whole idea will become clear to you. At this point you tell them that you cannot force yourself to believe something which seems so implausible, but they simply laugh and tell you that you are thinking too much about it. So you ask them again. How do you know he's real? Well, they say, the one true unicorn answers prayers. How does that work, you reply? It's a bit like a request or a petition. You have to telepathically communicate with the unicorn and ask him for something. But you need to be humble in your heart and not too selfish in your motives. Oh, you respond, so does the unicorn answer these prayers? Of course. All the time? Well, not all the time. You see, it has to be part of his divine plan. Oh, you say. How do you know what his plan is? The believer responds. Well, you don't always know, but you can get a good idea of his intentions by reading the Unicorn Bible. But don't Unicorn believers disagree with each other about the details of his plan? Sure, some do. But only the true believers, like me, are able to correctly interpret it, with the help of the horny spirit. And at the end of all this, you're left scratching your head because nobody has demonstrated that unicorns even exist. 
So that is uh, a, a tiny piece of a uh, number of very long messages um, that could probably be turned into a book, there's so damn much of it. Um, the... Right, what else was I going to say? Um, something else, which is just a thought I'd like to chuck out there. Something I heard on a podcast. It was on the Unbelievable podcast, a fairly recent one, and I can't remember who said it, but uh, it's just a, a nice little phrase which um, is quite revealing, quite telling, I think. So it goes, If you invoke a hidden being with magical properties, you can explain anything. And that seems to me to encapsulate an awful lot of religion. Um, so that's all I'm going to upload for now, and hopefully soon I will be up and running again and get some of my other more uh, usual projects uploaded, stuff that's actually edited together with images and video clips and all that. So, thanks for watching. Bye.